السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته هلو كلورجا هلال دن سلامة دي تانك دي تانو دلم فيديو كالي إني كتا أكن من قولس تن تانك ببير رفا بمن جد توبين إندونيزيا فيديو إني دسرق كان أولي كاكاك إروين تيتاب دي سيني جايز كمي أكن سيغارة كمبلي Alright guys, inshallah we're gonna get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please make sure you stay until the end. With that said, let's get started with the video. We'll compete in the lead semi-final later on today and the lead final but for now we're all about the speed climbing. And uh, seconds away from the start. It will be the women first, 16 women and then 16 men. The big final. Maria Krasovina will be waiting for the runner-up in the small final. Now, again, very similar times. Interestingly enough, the uh, the four semi-finalists in their races that got them into the semi-final were all in four one-hundredth of a second of each other time-wise. As I say, it's about beating the person next to you, but it gives you an idea of how evenly matched the field is. All four semi-finalists in their round of eight clocking times within 7.98 and 8.02. Eri Sazantu Raheo got an 8.02, Maria Krasovina was 8 flat. And again, both away cleanly and both climbing nicely so far. This one's going to be very tight unless there's a big mistake and it comes from Kaplina. And 7.86 Sazantu Raheo through. 8.40 as it turned out for Yulia Kaplina, she made a big slip. Let's have another look at it, it was the left foot that missed. Almost like a dry fire on a on a lead or boulder route. Ari Sazanti Raheo kept it quick and kept it clean. She's through. 7.86 does the job for her. So it is the women's big final. Anouk Jobe, she's already clinched the overall title for 2018. Can she get back on the top step? The last two World Cups have not gone her way at all. She takes on Eri Sazanti Raheu. Sazanti Raheu already a World Cup winner this year. And was second here in Wujiang in 2017. This one promises to deliver fireworks. It's going to be Jobert on the left. The now two-time World Cup overall champion and Cezanti Raheu on the right. Both World Cup winners, both World Cup winners already this year. Jobert looking to make it three World Cup wins in 2018 as Eri Cezanti Raheu looking to make it two and both get away cleanly in around a quarter of a second. And this is very, very tight. Looks like Raheu might take it and she does. 7.74. She picks up a second World Cup win of the season. And Team Indonesia are going absolutely crazy down the front of the stage. Here we see it again. She looked like she was just about in the lead throughout the race. Slight stumble towards the top. Jobert not her cleanest run. 8.01. Airy Sazanti Raheo picks up another World Cup win in 2018. That's two for her. That is as many as Anouk Jobert, who's going to win the season overall title, has got. If we could see Team Indonesia competing in all of the Speed World Cups, it would be fascinating to see what they could do in the overall standings. As it is, whenever we do see they compete, they leave a big impression. They picked up another gold medal there. They'll have a chance at another one as well when Aspar Jayalolo takes on Ludovico Fasali in the men's big final. First, though, we've got the men's small final. It's Alexander Shikov against Reza Ali, uh, Shilov, excuse me against Reza Ali Porsche Nazan. Aspar Jayalolo now takes on Reza Ali Porsche Nazandifar. Reza the world champion and the world record holder but he wasn't as quick as Jayalolo in the previous round. This one is massive. 
Jay Alolo was 5.71 in the last round and Reza 5.83. Reza, the current world record holder, in 5.48. Jay Lolo on the left, Reza Ali Poshin has only found the right. Jay Lolo got a blistering start. Can he hang on to his lead? He's going to be tight, but he does. Exactly the same time as he clocked in the last race. 5.71. He has eliminated Reza Ali Poshin as Andy Far, who clocked a 5.8. That was a blistering race from both men. But it's uh, Jay Lolu who takes it. He will have a chance to race for a gold medal against Ludovico Fasali. Added to his cabinet. Now, can Indonesia make it a dream day? Two gold medals. They've already picked up one on the women's side. Aspar Jay Lolu, that man right there, will take on the man to his right. Our left, Ludovico Fasali. So this is our final race here in Wujiang, but fear not, we're back next week in Xiamen with a, uh, another speed climbing final, the last one of 2018. But this is the last race of the day. Is Ludovico Fasali of Italy on the left, taking on Aspar J. Lolo on the right of Indonesia. Both climbers are way well in about a quarter of a second and Jay Lolo looks like he's got a slight lead but it's going to be very tight and he takes it in 5.81. What a dream day for Indonesia. They have picked up two gold medals, Aspar Jay Lolo and Eri Sazanti Raheu. Team Indonesia blowing the speed climbing world apart here in Wujiang. They've won both the men's and the women's competition and look what it means to them. Incredible day and Ludovico Vasali. I can just see him now very sportingly. The first person to congratulate Aspar J. Lolo. That's what it means. Team Indonesia now just running riot across the stage here in Wujiang. Amazing day for them. What a performance. Stanislav Kukor in there, over to congratulate Aspar J. Lolo as well. We'll have the uh, podium ceremonies later on this evening alongside the lead ones. We'll try and get some footage of them and uh, bring that to you on our highlights. But amazing day for Indonesia. They're going to pick up two gold medals, both the men's and the women's. Marshall guys, so I think they won four gold, two for ladies and two for guys. And um, it's nice to see because not only, like I'm really, really proud of them because not only they're representing Indonesia, but they're also representing uh, Muslim women, right? They're wearing their hijab and subhanAllah competing at the world stage and winning it. So it motivates other people. And at the same time, people that are watching it throughout the world see that they're Muslim and they're not, uh, for example, oppressed as the media, for example, uh, shows uh, sometimes, right? Um, if you look at them, mashallah, their form, both uh, but the brothers as well as the sister, were smaller in comparison to their uh, competitors. But I think it's not about how big you are, but rather like how agile and how fast uh, you can move. And mashallah, the Indonesian team took it all for gone. And uh, you know, the brother, the last one that won, he made the sujood because success is not from our own but rather it comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whatever we are whatever we were whatever we're going to be is uh, due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's uh, blessing so he humbled himself although he won basically the world uh, championship which was really nice to see I uh, enjoyed this video quite a bit guys thank you very much for suggesting it I hope you guys enjoyed it too if you did please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you like me to react to another video please put in the comment section below as always guys thank you very much for uh, all your love and support I hope you guys 
guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family and inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video take care